Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. You're watching for today. Lots of Android custom ROMs now releasing their initial builds for lots of official devices. We all know that everyone prefers the custom ROMs on their edge devices whose software support had been stopped and they are using the older stock versions of their devices. Some users prefer highly customizable ROMs while some prefer the AOSP based custom ROM having the basic customization features. So today we brought you the amazing custom ROM called as the Voltage OS 4.0 and 15 which is recently released with the support of lots of devices like Asus, Nothing Phone 1, Poco, Redmi, etc. I had given the list of all the devices in the video description. There you can find out if your device had the support by the Voltage OS or not. Today we are reviewing this Android 15 base initial build on our Nothing Phone 1. We flashed this build and we are going to thoroughly test everything along with its bugs related to Nothing Phone 1. Nothing Phone 1 users and other device users, please watch this video carefully and follow all the steps how to confirm these builds really daily drivable for your device or not. Now without further delay, let's get started. It's a new First impression of Cortez OS is its impressive boot logo that you have seen in the introduction of this video. Nothing for new users, to flash this custom ROM, you have to download the ROM and the GFs packages with the boot and vendor underscore boot image. Flash them via fastboot and the voltage OS recovery. Other device users, please follow their device installation tutorial given at the telegram site of the voltage OS. I did the complete setup with the stock voltage OS wallpaper and the home screen is looking amazing. Let's check out the device details of Voltage OS 4.0. In the about phone devs, now added the new banner at the top of the setting where we also found the OT updater of the OS. If you tap on the Android version, it's showing the Voltage OS version as a 4.0 with the Android 15 official build for the Nothing Phone 1. Security patch is of November 2024. ROM comes with the Electra 2.0 kernel 5.4.284 which is built with the latest Clang toolchain. Say Linux is the enforcing for the better security. Build date of ROM is 14th November 2024. So using the custom ROM on the older device is the best way for upgrading your device software based on the later sources, which is the biggest benefit of using custom ROM. I tested each and every essential features that are working on the Nothing Phone 1. You can check them in the video. Other device users, please confirm your device detail by following all the tests as I did in the video to confirm does this ROM is really daily drivable for you or not? Most important concerns of all the custom ROM users is the banking and payment application. But this ROM successfully passed all the tests like SeptiNet and the device Play Protect, which is also certified, so all the banking and payment application will run in this ROM. ROM comes with the Nothing Camera version 12 and all the major functions are working. I will just list them here in the video, but there are some other bugs that we will discuss in the bugs and the issues timeline of this video. Next one is a Nothing Phone signature feature that is Glyph Light. Who gets the Glyph Torch style in the Quiz Panel to use the Glyph Light as a torch for your phone. All the features of Nothing Glyph like the brightness control, Glyph Light for the caller and all the notifications are available and working. Battery level and volume level indicators of the glyphs are working good. Flip to glyph and the music visualizers are also working very good. 
One thing I noticed here that even if we enable the music visualizer toggle, other settings are still working. While in other custom ROM, all the other toggles got disabled automatically when we enable the music visualizer toggle. Let's move to the other part of the video that is the features available in this AOSP ROM. First, we can check its settings panel, it's looking clean and simple. Who gets the separate power hub option which contains all the ROM customization settings? Here you got the old school features like status bar, themes customizations to tune your device material you colors, lost screen setting, etc. System setting has some features that I personally like in all the ROM, like show volume panel on the left or the right side of the device, volume rocker wake up to wake the device using the volume buttons, and the skip music tracks when the screen is off, but to use this we need to disable the volume rocker wake up setting. Component spoofing is a major part of this custom ROM advanced feature which mainly offers the unlock RFS for the games like BGMI or the CODM. We also get the Snapchat spoofing and the pixel drop features. In the main setting and under the system we get the settings called as the other option. Here we get the new sensor of toggle that I never seen in other ROMs. This gives us the new sensor of tile in the QS panel. This is actually very useful to stop all the sensor on the device by just one tap. This will help to prolong the device battery when especially at the night the device is not in the use. Except there some other features are available in the display setting like desktop mode for the PC and the TV. Here you can connect your device to the PC or the TV via HDMI cable or wirelessly and can stream and control the complete display of your device. But I didn't test it this until now, but I will create a separate video on this feature in upcoming series of my channel, so stay tuned. Next is a highly customizable launcher of the ROM. This launcher offers same customization that other custom ROMs nowadays offering like icons, home screen, app drawer and recent panel customization. I especially like this double tap on the home screen feature to lock your device. It's available in the home screen setting. Recent setting offers lots of useful shortcuts like Google Lens, Screenshots, Clear All and the Memory Power function. In the miscellaneous setting, there you get the new and the advanced taskbar which is working smoothly. By using this, you can access the app drawer anywhere in the phone. You can also use the split screen by just dragging the applications in the currently running applications. Hidden and protected application is one of the best settings that only available in the custom ROMs. Who can hide any applications from the app drawer or can log any app which can later only accessible via fingerprint, face, pin or password unlock. Next is the parallel space which works similarly like the Android 15 feature called as the private space. Who can create the dual apps with a separate account for any user's applications available in the app drawer. Next and the big feature of this ROM is the Dolby Atmos sound mod. ROM comes with the Dolby Atmos inbuilt to fine tune your device audio to the next level. So everything had been covered in the video, now let's check out the major bugs of this ROM. For nothing phone one, I found the major issues. First one is the portrait mode pictures for the both the selfie and the main cameras are not working. The main portrait shoots causing the force closing of the camera application and the selfie camera portrait pictures are not getting saved in the gallery. Next issue is the slow motion video recording is not working, except these other features of the camera working fine. Next issue is no reverse wireless charging feature is available in the ROM. Only few ROMs comes with this feature that is Pixie source and Darfest source. Ultimately, you will not get the reverse wireless charging glyph animation. Under the power of pulse music visualizer setting is also not working. I tested it for the navbar, lost screen and on the always on display but it's not working at all. Last and the most annoying bug is when I tried to make a call, I did not get the caller screen but the calls are working in the background. If I try to use any application while on the call, they will flicker continuously. To avoid this, please enable the power button end call accessibility setting. Along with this, compass is not working properly. Camera and the calling issues are the major bugs of this ROM for nothing for one. Other users you may or may not face all such issues because maintainer of other devices are different and they build their own updates separately. 
If you ask me about the final verdict, for now, the Durfest OS Android 15 build can be only considered as a daily drivable for the nothing for one. This ROM is also very good, but developer needs to fix these major issues. So that's it for today guys, hope you liked my work, then please do like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, see you next time, take care, bye bye.